Don't we all love vintage bases? These two are from a brand called Modern Vintage and let's see if they can actually give us both modern and vintage. <laughs> Hi everyone, Gregor here from Base the World and today with Mr. Frank it on Base. And yes, Modern Vintage sounds a little bit like a Squire's Ears, but it's actually a brand. And not just any brand. Some viewers might be familiar with the names John Files and Rob Elric, the two minds behind this project. John is a collector of vintage bases and Rob has made himself a name by building rather spectacular modern ones. And for this brand they combined all this together to use John's extended knowledge of vintage bases with Rob's skills as a luthier and instrument designer. These bases aren't actually built by Rob in the US. That would of course be amazing, but then these bases would also be a lot more expensive. <laughs> So what bases do we have here? In the intro you've heard the MVJ472 in Walnut Brown, which is based on the 1972 Fender Jazz Bass. The second one in Fiesta Red is a MVJ466, of course based on the 1966 model. So yes, these bases are similar, but in the realm of jazz bases they couldn't be further apart from each other. And to show you what I mean by that, here's the 70 model with the tone control rolled down. <laughs> And now for comparison let's hear the 66 uh, in not exactly the same setting but also with the tone control rolled down. I think here it was the bridge pickup and now it will be the neck. These 70s models are very popular amongst rock players and people who love to slap their basses. This model has the bridge pickup a bit further towards the bridge compared to 60s basses. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of this bridge pickup sound, but in combination with the neck pickup it has this fresh mid scooped sound that comes across cleaner and a bit more modern. The 66 model sounds a lot warmer in comparison, with loads of low end and low mids. This is an absolute dream for normal fingerstyle playing with a deep organic sound. Modern Vintage puts a lot of focus onto period correct parts. Players who are familiar with vintage fender bases will have already spotted the different tuner shapes, the positions of the thumb and the finger rest, maybe even the different saddles at the bridge and most prominently of course the heat treated maple neck on the 72 versus the Indian rosewood fretboard on the 66. <laughs> By the way, the 66 also comes with one of those ashtray pickup cover things, uh, but I took it off to make it easier for Frank in our recording session. My impression is, I'm impressed. Of course these don't feel 100% like vintage bases, but damn are they close. And there aren't actually many brands out there who yeah, put focus on these little details like pure and correct tuners and bridges and these sort of things. Actually the only one I know that does that to this degree is Defender Custom Shop, but we all know how expensive these bases can get. The current sales prices of these are less than half of what you would pay for a similar base if you ordered one from a Fender Custom Shop today, so that's that. But they aren't without flaws. The Walnut one had some fret bus issues that couldn't be entirely resolved with a setup. The Fiesta Red was a lot better in that regard, but still not 100% perfect. I don't want to use this as an excuse, but I've paid more than both of these bases combined for this one here, and it has haunted me with neck issues since day one. 
When it comes to sounds and playability, these two are an absolute dream. For me, it's the 66 in Fiesta Red water bass. The depth and tone, the organic sound, the dynamics, the resonance. This is absolutely impressive. If I didn't have a similar signature bass from a different brand, I'd be negotiating with Modern Vintage right now to keep this here. I don't know if these basses typically have fret bus issues, because these are the only Modern Vintage basses I've ever tried, but since uh, Rob and John are behind this brand, I think this is not what you should expect when you order one for yourself. And that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to see more reviews in future, and otherwise, see you in a few days with another bass video here on Bass the World. Bye bye! Bass the world.